This is the M18 fuel hatchet pruning saw. It's got the power to cut through tough materials like hardwoods with ease. Milwaukee uses electronics and brushless motor technology to maintain the speed under load, and this lets them get, according to product managers, the equivalent of 25cc gas power. Without the battery, it weighs less than five pounds, and for a battery-powered tool, the M18 fuel hatchet pruning saw reaches full throttle very quickly, in less than one second. And best of all, you don't have to worry about the annoyances that come with a gas tool like fumes, oil level, or maintenance. We got to do some serious testing with this 8-inch pruning saw at the August 2022 Milwaukee Pipeline Media Event. Cutting through a 6-inch log, we made about a dozen cuts and still had four bars left on the XC 8.0 battery. The tool feels comfortable in the hand, and you can really work it quickly and easily when making your cuts. The full house chain cuts at 5 meters per second, or about 16 and a half feet per second, which definitely gets the job done. And it wasn't just that I could cut quickly, but I could also cut accurately. I was making half inch or thinner slices of wood as I went. The trigger just ramps that blade up nearly instantaneously, and the bucking spikes let me bite right into the wood and leverage it to quickly make those cuts. The top guard also gives you a fair amount of confidence and protection as you cut, ensuring that you can't easily injure yourself if you happen to encounter kickback. There is a lot to like about this M18 fuel hatchet. The onboard scrunch scores big points for sure. You don't have to pull that out of a bag. Compared to the Milwaukee M12 hatchet, this larger model cuts more confidently and with greater capacity. If you're an arborist, this tool really fits nicely into an emerging market for battery-powered outdoor power tool solutions. The M18 fuel hatchet pruning saw is going to release in October of 2022. It carries a retail price of $279 for the bare tool. We look forward to doing even more testing when we inevitably get the saw in for review. Have any questions we didn't answer? Leave those in the comments below. We go back and read those things and we'll answer them as we can. Be sure to check out the rest of our coverage from Pipeline 2022. And as always, thanks for watching.